How long have you been in the area of Rio San Juan in the north coast? How many years? Since moving right now, since 2003. Then it's 14 years that I have been here around, that I haven't moved to any other place. You meet an awful lot of people from America and Europe and Canada and Asia and Germany, whatever, uh, lots of people. What is it about, from a Dominican man's point of view, what is it about this little area of Cabrera y Rio San Juan that people find so beautiful and so pe one What is it that draws people to this area? What I have seen and what I have noticed people, they get in love to this area is because it's very, besides beautiful, it's very peaceful. And if you compare Rio San Juan to any other town of any place of the world, here you are going to find people who speak more than six languages. You know, maybe not the same person, but you find different type of people who understand any tourists that come here and they become friends. Besides of that, they have three different choices when they move here. Or they could live right on the sea, or they could live on the mountain, ocean view, or could they could live inside of town. And they always have a way to communicate in their languages with anyone around, and they become family besides being neighbors. What do you see happening for Cabrera? Because you know that's my town. You know how I love Cabrera more than any town in this country. Uh, where do you see the future unfolding, opening up for this little region? What, what do you see happening? What I see in the next three or four years here around is, in my opinion, maybe I get wrong, is they are going to be more than maybe 200 different families from other countries living here because all the construction and the beauty in Cabrera, it brings more people. The people they live here from other countries, they live here in the winter, they go back to work, they always bring new friends, they see a paradise over here, and they feel safety because there is no problems around here. And you see how nice and how wonderful and respectful everybody's treated around here. And now the area is growing up much better because even the owners of supermarkets, when people from other countries go to look for a good bottle of whiskey or champagne that they don't have it, they make people to write it in a paper. Next time the people visit the country, they find what they are looking for. They don't necessarily have to travel to Santo Domingo. Do you feel um, I mean, well, uh, obviously I'm not Dominican, but over the last, it's going to be 20 years now, over the last 20 years, Old Barry's covered a lot of areas in this country. What is it that is, I still haven't found anything similar to the personalities of the local people in Cabrera and Rio San Juan? And I've been, you know how much I travel. I mean, I, I've even shown you places that, like, my God, I didn't know this, and that's what I do. I travel around in the back country with my buggy, and what is it about the people here that is so different and welcoming compared to so many other areas? What I have seen around here, because same way like you, I used to live in Puerto Plata, Sosua, in Cabarete, I have seen here people they have a lot of honesty. And then people from other country, which they are really intelligent, very smart, they notice that because they come from countries more developed than this one. And they look, they study what kind of people they are around it. And then in the second trip, mostly, they always come to notice, to check if, we, if what it happens in the first trip is what is going to happen in the second when they realized it's the same, then they start knowing more and more people and they see it's the same way, then they get more in love about the area because there is no perfect place. But if you compare it to look for the perfection, heal around, everybody protects each other. They all know each other. You start knowing, for example, two people and next day you need, or you know another four, and they are all the same. They see you in the street, 
they invite you to drink, they invite you to smoke, what is theirs is yours, what is yours is theirs, and that's how the friendship started to get united. I hope, that's a good way of putting it, and I hope that never ever leaves, because uh, so many of our DR escapes people, even some that you've met, uh, they don't like where their country is going. They don't like to see where Europe or America or Canada, which direction it's going into, and people are looking for a change, and and um, I hope that continues. Um, I would expect this area to experience modest growth on a steady basis, not and yet retain its family values. You know, not become. It's never, in my opinion, going to ever be a, a tourist haven like um, some of the other places that are tourist havens. It's it's a mixture of family and it's a mixture of just general nice people that live here, not just visit here. And I think that makes a big difference. And We're going to finish our cigar off camera, but I want you to tell our viewers what's the best way they can reach you and if you can give them some sort of street address. I just wanted some folks that um, watch our videos, and you know that's quite a few, uh, just to get to meet you and know you, and so they can come to you direct if they want information on things in Rio San Juan or information on cigars or this or that. How can they reach you? It's very easy because my email address is the easiest one ever to learn. It's Arduino Fine Cigars at gmail.com and you can find me on Facebook, Johnny Arduino Antigua, and in my phone number, which in the WhatsApp, you will see my pictures of cigars, is 829-702-7220. And if you reach my Facebook page from every 10 pictures, you are going to see nine of smoking on smoking cigars with different type of people from all over the world, nice people, smokers, and even people who don't smoke or they are learning how to smoke, they take pictures with me and you are going to see them posted over there. And even all the pictures I put on Facebook, they are in English or German or in French. Anyone in the language you see it is because the person who is taking the picture at my side, next, uh, together with me, they are from that country. Well, I really, uh, it's nice. Thanks for your time. I know our viewers will appreciate it, and we'll enjoy our cigar here. And their little partnership has grown into quite a good size store. And uh, I can assure you, things are done fair. There's no advantage taken of anybody, or I wouldn't be doing this video for you good folks now. And uh, besides becoming a good friendship, uh, Aldueño has taught me a lot. And I might have taught him one or two things. And until next time, this is Barry and you are.